Oh, we come say hi. No, no. You don't. Good morning. I went to wake up someone. And he covered himself back up and went back to sleep. Can you say hi? So Owen is in a crib tent. Because if he's not, he climbs out. He's a, an escape artist who just wants to party all day. And then we have a tent, a privacy tent for Corbin because they share a room. Yeah. And if he were to see Corbin all night long, he would yell and throw things at him. So um, this is how we have two kids in one room. So we have a new skeleton and I'm not quite sure if Owen likes it. Owie, come say hi. No, no. You don't like it? Come on. If I don't look at it. No. Owie, is he cool? Should we go say hi to him? All right, we are off to Aiden's conferences, if that tells you anything. Kate doesn't have a conference. Corbin doesn't have a conference. Just Aiden. Wonder what they're gonna say. Probably the same thing they said last year. He's not turning in homework. Now he's been grounded three weeks from his phone and from PlayStation. You would think he'd be turning in his homework. He's not, again. Anyone have any tips on how to make a 13, almost 14 year old turn in his homework? What do I have to take away from him so he turns in his homework? Help, SOS. Snack break. Uh, so tonight we're gonna use our rotisserie chicken and cook up like a, mm, trying to decide between chicken tortilla soup or chicken peppers and onion. A, what do you want? Tortilla soup? Tortilla soup. So, it was yucky. You just threw it on the floor and the dog ate it. So, we're going to do chicken tortilla soup. So, come along. All right, guys. Another ingredient you're going to need are some fresh tomatoes they are we have them grown straight from the garden we yeah it's, they're delicious it's gonna be awesome shoot we're gonna make some guac and then we realized we don't have the enough avocados to make guac and really nice to use some fresh ingredients you can it adds so much more flavor to everything and if you grow up from your garden you're also going to be saving money too all right guys we, we threw in the pepper yeah another jalapeno and bell pepper oh yeah and part of the bell pepper to make some Hope salsa hopefully why don't we just sprinkle some seeds in there? No, no seeds. Yeah, but... Just... Why would we do that? So it makes it spicy, Kate. Wait. Wow, eh? Mmm. Uh -huh. So much better. What do you think, Kate? Do you know you chew incredibly loud? <laughs> It's actually, a, it's got a good spice behind it at least. That's because I gave you like poor little Grisha. jalapeno jalapeno. All right, we're gonna go out, get some jalapenos. That's gonna be delicious. It's the, oh Jesus, it's bright out. All right. It's the best part about guacamole. Uh, that one's not ripe yet. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think any of them are ripe. They're still growing. Like this one. So. Oh, no. I guess this one's right. Not bad. Well, I'm going to end the vlog. Vlog. Vlog tonight. Uh, sitting in a chair. Lulu had. Um, she was spayed today. So getting her home, making sure she's not jumping around. She's extremely skittish and scared around Scott and, um, Kate and Corbin. Um, but she can't jump up on the couch and she can't like go up and down stairs. And it's like literally having a toddler with a cone of shame running around the house. So she, that took up a quite a bit of the evening, but Corbin had hockey practice again. Um, and he's doing amazing at goalie and we're just trying to get him as much time on the ice, especially since it's free and he's getting a ton more work um, to just kind of catch up with all the things that a goalie has to know. Um, so tonight he worked with the squirts, which is, he only misses out on being a squirt by like 12 days, I think, if he, it was like December 30th. Um, so he's really kind of, kind of at that age group and the coaches said he did awesome. So we're just trying to get him as much work as possible so he's comfortable in the net for these games. Um, other than that, we're all doing good. We did have conferences today and, um, Aiden is not turning in his homework, which has been the theme of every beginning of the school year, no matter what I have set up for him, either like we, the moment the kids walk in the door, they get a snack, they sit down at the kitchen table, they do their homework. I cook dinner. I ask them about homework. I look you know, at their Schoology account. Okay, this is what you have to do. Did you do it? And then I kind of leave it there. He's eighth grade. I need to kind of put more of that responsibility on him. Um, he's been grounded for three weeks. He hasn't had YouTube or PlayStation or really anything fun. And he still just is not getting his homework in. And it's not because he can't do it or he won't do it. He just forgets. Even though he has all these things set up to make him a better student. So the teachers didn't say anything really tonight because I went in, I know why I'm here. The kid isn't turning his homework in. And they're all saying he is super smart and super capable. And when his homework's in, he's acing all of these classes. So just really reinforcing to him that I'm going to string him up by his toenails if he doesn't get his work in. Um, other than that, we're really good. Just looking forward to a fun, we have a long weekend off. We don't have school Monday and Tuesday. Um, unfortunately with Lulu having surgery, we can't really go camping or do anything. She's gotta be on bed rest really for 10 days, which we'll see how that works. Just trying to keep Owen away from her is quite a challenge. But make sure you guys like our page, subscribe, Watch the video, check it out if you guys have questions or want to see anything. Uh, look, we look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks.